Data scientist, data analyst. They kind of sound the same, right? Well, one guy takes home a paycheck more than double the other. Stick around to know who that is and why they take home the big bucks. Let's take an analogy to understand this. It's not a perfect one, but it should help. Consider a Formula 1 racing team. Now, there are some factors that are well known to affect how a car performs during a race. And these need to be monitored and relate to the driver and the team chief. Things like the tire wear, tire pressure, fuel usage and so on. Analysis is done on these factors to measure and tweak the current performance of the car. Now, this is similar to what a data analyst does. Because a data analyst must understand the data that the company decides is important and analyze it, cleanse it and then provide a visual representation of the data to business decision makers. Now, going back to the Formula 1 analogy, there are also factors beyond these well-known ones like tire pressure or fuel usage that can also affect the performance of the car, right? A huge amount of data is picked up by the sensors in a Formula 1 car. There is also a lot more data that is currently not being monitored since its influence is unknown. We don't know what it does. Now, imagine if someone was able to decide which of the data that is currently not being measured was actually important and significantly affected the performance of the car. Now, imagine further that they could then go ahead and create a model that reliably explains and shows how this data could help predict the performance of the car. Now, this is kind of what a data scientist is expected to do. Because a data scientist is largely looking at data that isn't currently well understood by his or her company. He or she has to figure out what data is important. So they acquire that data, they clean it, they extrapolate from it and find missing values. They then formulate a theory or a hypothesis and test it using maths, statistics and predictive modeling. Once they verify their results, data scientists then communicate them to business stakeholders and work with them to translate these results into business action items. So, uh, to put it simply, uh, a data scientist for the lack of a better term is a rock star. He or she has a strong business understanding, strong math and stat skills, strong computer science and machine learning skills, and strong communication and storytelling skills. Now, realistically, hardly anyone is equally strong on all these fronts, but these are the ideal characteristics. So to summarize some of the key differences, data scientists must have business knowledge and good communication skills. Data analysts need not. So ask yourself if you are interested in the business side of things or not, and if you are extroverted. Data scientists are experts in machine learning and building statistical models. Data analysts do not need these skills. So do you have or want to build the skill sets needed? Now, Great Learning has got a unique learning model for its machine learning and data science courses with weekend DAO clearing sessions, a full-time motivation coach who ensures you keep pace and complete assignments on time, even if you're doing the course online. And this will get you to the finish line. Now, if you are in a tier one Indian metro city, there are actual classroom sessions which are even better. So feel free to check that out as well. Now, irrespective of whichever path that you choose, I hope this information has been useful and I wish you good luck. Happy learning.